Hello guys and welcome to the next episode here. We're going to start on the uh, moss slash bone meal generator. This design that I've, I've been working on here for a while. Um, this, in my opinion, is one of the more powerful farms uh, you can have in Minecraft just for the materials you can make from it. Um, bone meal being the greatest one of them uh, because then you could make bone meal blocks, bone meal plants. Um, you get the moss blocks, all the moss byproducts as well. Um, I have a filter system on the side of it that uh, you can swap out for what you want and then just uh, collect if you want. Like you see behind me the moss blocks or the moss carpet or the azalea bushes. Whatever you want you can collect those from this farm and then, then you have you know stacks and stacks of whatever you want. Uh, so I'm going to get to work clearing the uh, stuff behind me, maybe leveling out the ground a little bit and getting started uh, laying out the foundations for this moss and bone meal farm. All right, so what we have here is the Lightmatica schematic for this farm. And you see colored wool blocks. I kind of do that when I'm doing my redstone designs just so that um, I can separate a little bit the different parts of what I'm building. For instance, this, the green here, oh, can't jump on it. The green is like the redstone clock and then other colors of different parts. But I'm going to build it all out of, um, what do I got in here? I think I'm building out of this polished deep slate is just what I picked. Now, something else I just came across, this is, uh, this is an aside, a inventory organizer thing. Uh, which for this mod just hit B and your inventory just all gets organized. I really like that. It's kind of handy. So in a situation like this, boom, it's all organized. Well, let's get the building and see how this goes. Okay, so one thing that I like about using this schematic here is you can kind of check and see what you want to do. Uh, if I go down, now this is supposed to be stone, quote unquote, in uh, what I actually built, but <clears throat> cobblestone will be just fine. All right, well, let's get to building a bit here. So we'll just jump right into this. Let's see here, what do I need? I need some of my building blocks. I think I'm going to need redstone. All right, well, we'll go with that for now. So one thing you can do with the Lightmatica mod you know how you can click your middle mouse button to pick blocks here? Well, you can do that with Lightmatica. If you set it up, of course, um, you place blocks down and then they're, they're done like so. Let's see here. Boom and boom. Got that done. Oh, so how I have this set up. This uh, chest here is going to be the bone meal, and this one will be the filtered item, which for the most part is going to be um, like moss blocks. I think that goes there and there. Can I tell? This at least goes in here. I'm going to put that there for now. All right. Now, this is going to say red because it's wrong, but I'm going to build out of this uh, polished deep slate instead of uh, <clears throat> the wool blocks here. Now, as you can tell, this is going quite easy with, um, with Lightmatica, but I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are on using Lightmatica for this here. If it's a somewhat simple build, I can understand people wanting to uh, maybe use their own thoughts, their own creativity. But I like coming up with a really good design and then using it over and over and over. So that's kind of my theory on it. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. Now... Oh, because that needs to be powered. That's why it's blocked off. I got these pistons here. I 
He's wrong. Let's see, do I have... I do got these furnaces. One of my designs is I put a water source in the middle uh, here. Just really helps make the stone generator uh, more consistent. Uh, more consistently uh, good, I guess you could say. I think I got this figured out. I'm going to use my cheaty cam here. For some reason, this repeater, I had to put that in there. Um, it should, the piston should work with just the redstone feeding into it just directly, but it wasn't. Um, then I had to delay this repeater one more tick. <clears throat> Anyhow, after that, and also adding a repeater in there, it seemed to work. Now, just wanted to show you put that on there now the minecart is a little noisy and just doing straight hoppers would be able to even things out a bit but what um, what this does is it actually the hopper minecart is uh, slightly wider than one block it's like 1.4 or something I think anyhow it's gonna pick up all the items I need to make my item elevator right here which I will do momentarily but then it's going to distribute all the items that are made in there into all of these composters as quickly as it can and with these hoppers on the edges like this I found in my testing that they actually slightly picked up items out of the hopper minecart so it drains the hopper minecart almost as fast as it can pick items up here but we'll leave that going I got about 33 items in there let me throw some water in that bubble elevator real quick I'll be right back with you okay got the bubble column elevator in another wandering trader <laughs> just as I want to record. He's got packed eyes. He's got a Nautilus shell. Oh well. Well, he is going to experience a cobblestone generator. Got this going now. So this is going, this was because of the problem. And what this does is every other pulse, it does the water and 
the moss spreading. This is so <laughs> mesmerizing to just sit here and watch. Let's pull it up here. So, as you see, every time it spreads some moss, it gets washed down, and then the stone generators just replace the moss with uh, with stone, which just goes in a circle. Now, let's go up here. And check this out. So we can click on the hopper minecart. Just watch how fast that is distributing items out of there. That's just because it is touching um, hoppers on all sides. And... <laughs> They're sucking them out that fast. That's pretty incredible. And we've got some bone meal in here. We're collecting we're collecting moss blocks. I have uh, not set the filter. I need to do that. Um, so if I do I gotta do 41 and that. All right, filter is now set. This should only do moss blocks. And something else made on. So I put a lamp there in my actual build. So you can tell when you turn it on or off, but now it should not filter any more items. So it's not going to catch any more moss. Oh yeah, something else I also do, just so that it is a little more even. I will fill three slots on these composters, and that way they spread the items around more. The hopper line here is going in a loop. So if stuff gets distributed, it's going to force it to go around and around. And I guess, I, as I understand it, this little design right here where they bunch up and then drop down actually helps. Uh, for some reason, it creates less lag. Alright guys, I wanted to bring you in here, just show you a little bit. I just started laying this out. This is going to be, it's going to look like a warehouse is what I kind of want to do for my decoration for my um, moss farm here and, and bone meal, moss and bone meal. So, but I want to add something real quick. One thing I like to do with my redstone is to do uh, like a fail safe or something to make sure it's working correctly always. Now, one thing that happens when you turn this off and it will go up here. I just added a little walkway up here. As you see, it leaves uh, stuff laying down here. Now there's one of the bushes and then some moss. Oh, there's a piece of carpet. So several different things are left there. And I just went into a testing world and was able to do this. I want to do stone. I wish to do any, one of these. <clears throat> So if I take an observer and put there and sticky piston and the observer and repeater, now I need I need more redstone.
right we're back here i got the roof all done the building is built <clears throat> you can see the mine cart spinning around inside in there i'm gonna have a little sign here i'm gonna put uh moss on it uh, in uh, uh banners i gotta make that but what i'm working on now is just kind of doing a little solar punk twist to it um got some decoration in the corner there i might uh, expand on that but what i'm doing is adding from my power station so we got our windmill and i'm going to be making some uh like electrical poles here i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to tie all this together but uh well come with me and we'll get started on it okay so first what i want to do build up here I am going to use these tough brick walls, I think, to try and somewhat copy that. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. This is my moss and bone meal farm. It's pretty much done, decorated, kind of how I want. You see, I'm I'm starting to make the path here. I think I'm going to make it out of this mix of deep slate brick slabs and deep slate tile slabs. I like this little color combo. It stands out a bit. And then I'm doing the moss and the grass around uh, for, for uh, get your greenery in there. And I might, there's another, <laughs> I, I might do some uh, lanterns or some, uh, some light posts around here. But here I'm coming in, uh, my temporary bed. If I need bone meal, I need moss, I've got it in spades, I've got plenty. I really like this design. I have had to do some fixes since building it here uh, in in survival. Change the windows just a little bit. I'm really liking this build here. Anytime I need some of these materials, boom, I've got it. Add to whatever I'm I'm making. I really like this window. I don't know where I saw this or how I come up with this, but uh, just threw some stuff onto some orange stained glass. It kind of goes well. So, there you have it, guys. Adding some solar punk to this build here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And we'll catch you in the next one where we work on the next project. Mackie and out. <laughs>